Welcome to the All Script with the Bag and Nuts crew. Let's get this show started, fellas. Let's go. Hey, what up, folks? What up? What up? It's your boy Tommy. What up, what up? And with special guest Scotty B. B on the line. <laughs> on us, say hello, Scotty B. What up? What up? Yeah, man. But uh, we got a good old conversation going on, you know. So we'll start with the first one, you know. Let's stop announcing where we're from when we get our ass. Hey, because that makes everybody look bad. <laughs> hey, man. It only make you look bad if if you give your ass whoop. Hey, if you Otherwise, if you scream you from hey if you scream you from Detroit, you throwing rocks and shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people from Detroit ain't throwing rocks. You know what I'm saying? We gonna throw hands. Nah, we gonna nah, throw nah. shells. One of the two. Because <laughs> uh, that throwing rock shit, that shit stopped in eighth grade and shit. Um, I thought that stopped when Jesus was around. He's still stoning mother lovers. Come on, man. <laughs> that shit did stop. Rock. Have you met the Middle East? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh. That's still that's still a valid uh <laughs> punishment in the Middle East. Oh, hey, they okay. st- hey, they still well, brand- they, ain- they still branding bitches with the Scarlet A though. I'm not trying to be uh. Uh, racist. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's not so much racist either, it's, but stereotypical. <laughs> <laughs> but it is still a punishment in places like uh, Iran and uh, uh, Iran, Iraq, and then the middle and Saudi Arabia and all them other. Hey, you know what? Real, yeah, real I, talk though. Some of them places over there, they do have the right thing. Some some shit you just need to get fucked up for. So not just for you to learn, for everybody else around you to learn too. You know what I'm saying? You got to start showing that discipline for everybody. Because a lot of motherfuckers don't understand that. Look, fuck around and find out. That's it. Just fuck around and find out. I agree. I, I really You know what? We as America got to stop being so so soft. I don't understand, fellas, how a generation that grew up on South Park and Family Guy is so sensitive. I mean, for God's sake, we got a pervert, we got a pedophile running around on the show saying, hey, kids, and we, and nobody tried to cancel Family Guy. But oh my God, Eminem says he hates fags and retards and deaf people, and we need to cancel. Come on now. Stop. Look, just, these just, are the same people that used to play with Mr. Hanky Poo, and that's a piece of shit. So, you, <laughs> I mean, and you ain't never seen nobody wash their hands either after they got through playing with Mr. Hanky. So, I mean, at the end of the day, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so, and these motherfuckers still <laughs> running around here watching motherfucking SpongeBob SquarePants, too. And they have. I, be- oh, and that, man, I could never get it. I never got into it. Never got the into SpongeBob. I watched it a little bit That's when it got stupid. Started. I just said, I'm, "I'm done. I'm done." But it was always stupid. Thank you. It wasn't stupid when it you was first never watched it. Then you get through like two mm-hmm. episodes, yeah, like, "Oh, okay, not for me, not for me." Nah, it was stupid from the first of all, and I never watched it. But I always turned it off when I heard that. Oh, who lives in the clip? <laughs> Expedition. Exactly. Okay. We 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 not even we not, I know what the rest of that is, but it, I cut it off mid sentence. When I heard that, well, when I saw that fucked up pirate picture, dude. Nope. Click. Okay. I'm like, can we bring back old school cartoons? Can we bring back like the Voltrons, the Ronin Warriors, the SWAT Cats, the biker mice from Mars, the teenage mutant Ninja Turtles. Can we bring back cartoons where they threw hands, had dirty sex jokes, and you had to be smart to catch them? No, can we, no, can we because that, too, it's too many people are politically incorrect. They're sensitive. You know what I'm saying? We had to go to school and give them hugs. We stopped saying a pledge allegiance to the flag in school because everybody's too sensitive. We had to be all inclusive for everybody. But, but, wait, 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 wait. You, we can pledge the allegiance to the flag, but everybody is. Quick to grab the rainbow one. So what's up? 
People grab the rainbow that's flag because they want their back door knocked in. That's okay. To have, it's okay for another man to get his asshole pounded by another man, but it's not okay if a man want to pound on his woman's vagina. That's not okay because she has feelings that's, too. That's toxic masculinity, what you're talking about. Right. I'm, I'm be, it's too much toxicness. But if it's man I, on I man, think, it's okay. Uh, I think Cat Williams said it best. There is no such thing as uh, toxic masculinity. It's either masculinity or it's femininity. <laughs> I agree. My whole deal, wait a minute. Technically, wouldn't the toxic masculinity be the emasculation? So technically, the prison culture that these rap songs have glorified and glamorized well, that is actually the toxic masculinity. Because let's keep it real, fellas. We know what happens in prison. That's why you don't want to go. And second of all, there's certain things you don't want to go to prison for. Okay? If you, you know, if it comes to find out that you out here like Drake, you know, messing with, allegedly messing with, you know, young girls like Lotto's sister, yeah, you might not want to be in gin pop with the rest of the prison. Just saying, just saying. Hey, hold on. Let me. Uh, okay, let me. Let me take uh, this call. Uh, uh, let me. Let me. Let me get a little ignorant. Let me. Let me. Let me be. Let. Let me. Let. Let. <clears throat> yep. They just dropped. Look here. If Drake want to speak to a seventeen year old and have a decent conversation as a decent human being, there is absolutely nothing wrong with having a conversation. No, it doesn't. It just depends on what part of the body is conversating. Like, if her lips is conversating with a tip of his body, mm, the police might find a problem. But in some cities and states, the legal age of consent is 16. So, he just needs to go to a state where it's 16. Or, let's keep it real. Can we keep this completely real? Keep right? it 100. Can we keep it? Okay, let's keep it real. Laws like that were made for the poor, not the rich. Okay? Because, let's keep it real. Um, half of Hollywood is like that. We, 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 we talk about, uh, we talk about that, 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 um, that Nickelodeon special quiet on the set. But let's keep it real. Dan Schneider didn't go to jail. Brian Peck didn't go to jail. They still walking around kids. If somebody of our class was caught messing with an underage girl, yeah, they throw us up in the face. Drake, the, find outing somebody for being a pedophile in Hollywood ain't really a big thing because all of them are pedophiles. You can't they say all, all of them. You're not, you're not, you can't say okay. all. You can't say all because okay. that's wrong. Okay. So, that's wrong. But in the poor, in the, in the poor was, community, in the poor community, if you know bruh man is a pedo, pino, however they say it, you know what I'm saying? How, 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 how I would say it? A tree jumper. Yeah, a up? tree jumper. He was a tree jumper. If, you, okay. he's, if he's a tree jumper, we already know the police ain't got to handle it. No law enforcement has to be involved. Only thing the law enforcement need to do is to look the other way. Trust and believe me, it will get handled. Yeah. But, and that's, and that, it, like I said, that's for the poor. Because for the rich, hey, they are, they mostly get down like that. We, I knew what, to, let me tell you something. I'm 37 years old. I knew what the casting couch was when I was in high school. And that's that's an adult school, movie, though. I, yeah, but but here's the deal: if we knew what the casting couch was, if everybody on that casting couch was out of age, they might have show of age people in the thing. But hey, if you go back and listen to Shirley Temple's interview, back and she that Shirley Temple, this is after the back in the 1930s, 1940s, 1940s. She says that you know she. She met with an exec of one of the companies. I forget who, so I ain't gonna miss But one of the big production companies back then, and she says that her and her mother went, 
And then her and her mother got separated. She went in one room, he went in, and she, mother went in one room, daughter went, Shirley Temple went into another. And she says, hey, she's sitting there, and about five, ten minutes later, a dude walks out, but booty naked <laughs> in his birthday suit. Like, uh, like me. he was at him, right? Oh, and oh, she me. laughed at him. Bless you, bless you. Thank you. She laughed at him. She laughed at him. And that's probably what protected her from being used that day. Okay? So, and this was back almost almost close to a, at least 80 years, 35 to 90 years ago. So, now you fast forward, you think it's a change? No, it's a guy's word. Only difference is they didn't have the internet back then. If it wasn't for the internet, a lot of this stuff wouldn't even go, we wouldn't even know about. That's what she said. We would still have to read magazines and shit. And newspapers. And hey, most of these people nowadays can't read the paper anyway. Or read in general. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, we are Ill- we are a highly or well, highly developed country. We have a highly illiterate population. Or underdeveloped, or under mentally developed uh, generation. It's a gosh darn that's shame. Just, look, you know what? So that's why we gotta get our boy Trump in. All right. Oh, so we fin- oh we finna flip the script and go. We gonna get into the Joe. We gonna get into slow Joe and the Don. Well, we knew Joe couldn't read. I just figured it was, you know, Joe couldn't read and Joe couldn't walk and Joe couldn't even wipe his butt and Joe couldn't even hold his bow. Man, why are you... I know your parents taught you better than talk about old people like that. And I know you wrong, man. Let that man wear his adult diapers. It's fine. Leave the crypt keeper alone. He ain't never hurt nobody. Let him do. No, he just what he do. You ain't right. So man. what? Let him sniff on. So so let him sniff on young girl's hair. Did he touch the young girl? Did he R. Kelly her? Did he Pete Diddy her? Did he did he did he did he did he? Did he take that? Take that? No, he didn't. He smelled I mean, the hair. He, I mean, yeah, but I'm pretty sure some of her hair follicles got up his nose. He, he probably had more than hair follicles up his nose at some point in time, but it was just a, it was a whiff. That's like the other day I was at the BK and this lady hand me my food and I smell her lotion. I was like, "That smell good. What is that?" Mm-mm. I'm just saying. You see, it's nothing. It's one thing to catch a whiff of something get passing. It's another thing to be looking like you jeepers creepers sniffing on people trying to catch their scent. Like you're a dog. He didn't, at least he didn't lick no windows. Talking about Jeepers Creepers. He didn't lick a window. So we, he, he, I, I, I don't believe he had any ill intent when he smelt the young lady's hair. She probably got some, some um, Axe shampoo or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Okay, if that's the story you want to go with, that's fine. You know, you're entitled to your opinion and belief. And I'm definitely entitled to mine. But, you are you know, absolutely I'm right saying. about that, brother. You know, but I just want to, you know, I'm just saying, you know, just just think what things that things that make you go, hmm, things that be like, you shouldn't be doing that. Just saying. Yeah, it's, it's a whole lot of things that people should not be doing. But it's still borderline where it's not bad. It's questionable. No, it's it's just the simple. I'm not touching you, but you're so close that you might as well be. Come on now, we've all been kids. We've all put the finger in the face. It's just close enough not to touch, but close enough to know that if anybody breathes wrong, y'all about to contact one another. Come on. I'm just saying. We hey, these two been going at it like. Somebody got a rock on their shoulder, knock the rock off my shoulder type deal going on anyway for the last, what, six years, four years now? So, uh, Trump? Yeah. Yeah. These two look like two schoolgirls in the schoolyard fighting. 
but let's keep it real. You know, if you got your name slandered and everybody was attaching to your attaching things to every negative thing to your name, and you know, I, I guess I would have a, I would have a chip on my shoulder too. Okay. Is it justified? Answer the question. Is it justified that people are slandering your name? In this incident right here, is it, is it justified that people say that you're the problem? I mean, do they got proof? We got proof it was a riot January 6th. Okay. No, but, hey, hey, they, what, they don't like to but, talk about that. Yeah, it's oh, they, they, they want to tell people that didn't really happen. <laughs> no, that happened, but we oh, don't know but, it happened. But, but let's keep it real. You okay, look but on TV, keep... they were like, "Well, that didn't really happen." That okay, nobody was okay. doing this and that. But let's keep this real, right? Now, here's what we got. Let's let's be sensible, guys. I heard something that said you can't blame God for his followers, right? So if individuals feel like they want to attack somebody in somebody else's name, you can't say, well, they attacked in your name. You was a part of it. Wait no, a minute. they just attacked in my name. Hold on, player. I'm just saying. Hold on, hold, just hold saying. on, player. Let me use your logic in that. I'm just, you can't blame God for his followers' actions, right? You said that, right? No, you can't. Okay. How about that? How about that woman Eve? You can't blame her for eating that apple. It's all free will. You're right. Uh, so can't so blame her. you can't. You, you, but who created her? Who created the monster? <laughs> who ate the apple? I mean, once again, that's both of them. Free did. will, right? Right, but, but no. no who, if I, ain't, who, if who I did? that's like me saying, like, look, you you about to get married, right? You you about to get married, right? And I bring some hookers to you, and I said, have okay. that. I said, have it. Do you? No one to know. Do you? Who's that for? Me or you? The one who took the actions that's gonna fuck up shit. You brought the strippers, but I don't have to partake. If you bring me the strippers and you said you don't want to know and you walk away, guess what? You walk First away. First of all, so, he did not say strippers. He said hookers. Okay, look, same difference. No, um, it's not. It's, not. It, 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 it's a big difference. <laughs> hookers are professional uh, ladies of all, leisure. They will get you right. They will make a soldier sir, salute. Sir, Go to war, sir, come back, and salute sir, again. Sir, let me tell you something. Have you ever played Pokemon? No. One evolves into the other. Okay? So it's called evolution. One evolves from one. Okay? So, you know, one evolves from one, one evolves into one. So, tomato, tomato. Right? But even still, hookers, strippers, fine, hookers, it's still the fact of this. It's my choice to do what I do. It's my choice to sleep with them or not sleep with them. So you put me in the position. All right. Cool. You put me in the position. All right. Cool. So a lot of people have been put in a position and didn't do what they should have done. Right? So, so with that being said, with that yes. being said, who do you think would get most of the blame? Who would your wife blame most if you went down that route? Would she blame you? Me. Or would she blame me? She would She would blame the one who took the action. She would blame me. No, that's bull. She would take the one that no. set everything in motion. No, because, because here's the deal. Tempt- when you put temptation in front of an average person, and all of us is average person, we are not superhuman. We eventually may not that's touch, true. but we're going to look. We're going to be curious okay. because that's in our nature. That didn't came down from the from the apple woman. The apple woman. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I want to use a c word, but I'm I'm trying to be. I'm trying. I'm trying. Lord knows, I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. The apple woman. But at uh, the end of the day, at the end of the day, it was still. It was just. It was Adam's choice to eat the apple. He didn't have to eat that apple. 
He, nobody told him to eat that apple. Actually, God told him not to. But he eat the told apple, Adam, man. Eat the apple. Eat the apple, Adam, man. <laughs> eat the Adam, Adam. Hey. Eat the apple, Adam. Hey, you didn't me, have to eat that apple. Let me ask you something. Uh, when you went on your walk the other day, did you want to do it? But you did it because you did it because your woman, right? He ate the apple. I did it because nobody was gonna push my. No, <laughs> he ate I the did apple it because, because of his woman. My big eye. No, my I was, I was parked up front and I was in the back of the zoo. That's why I did it. And nobody was gonna push my big ass up. That's why I walked up there. Okay, so it was still my <laughs> choice. I could have. I could have been. I could have threw a big tantrum and said, I ain't walking no more. Y'all come get me. I could have done that, but I didn't. So it's all a choice. Let's look at the shooter. The shooter didn't have to shoot Trump. He, he didn't. Had to shoot he hey, look, let, he me t- he shot let me tell you like this. You know what? I- I'm going to tell you just like this. I don't believe that shooter was going to shoot Trump at all, to be honest. I'm, I'm going to keep him 110% honest. All jokes aside at this current moment. He's on the building by himself. Clear as day. I played this video game called Sharpshooter. I can hit that <laughs> dot right, steer, smack, center of your forehead. Take you out with no hesitation. But you get nipped in the ear. Even if he hit him in his chest, he has a wide body chest. He ain't got to go for a dome shot. Hit him in the chest, hit him in the heart. Hit one of them arteries where the, where the mayonnaise is hanging out at. You know what I'm saying? Trust, believe me. He yeah, won't even no, think about run, he, he won't even think about running for president again because he be praying to God that he still have air in his lungs. So, if you really about that business, and when you really about that business, what? I'm gonna tell a little insider secret: two to the chest, one to the head. You hit the left side, you hit the right side. Just in case your heart just happened to be in that 1% where your heart is on the other side of your chest. Two, two to the chest, one to the head. Guarantee you ain't doing nothing else. What get me about that shooter is that they said he was on the shooting team and they let him go because he couldn't shoot. But this man had the confidence to shoot the – to try to take out the former, former vice uh, president. president. No, oh, former president. He wasn't like, former, well, former president. Well, former president. He had the biggest set of co- co- he had the biggest set of cojones <laughs> this side of the planet. Period. And he choked. And he choked. That nigga hey. was LeBron at the that nigga was LeBron at the uh LeBron at the uh, line. He choked. No, what you talking about? He was checked from the line. Hey. <laughs> 50, that's 50. just that's just like my man <laughs> that was on the other side of the planet when the W was over there, he got assassinated. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. my man. Yeah. 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 Quick, hey, look how quick he got that. The two things, the left and the right. <laughs> right. Hey, look. You you can talk about them Republicans, but they some quick dodgers. I'm just saying. And he yeah. said, and the, and the story was, he's a Republican with Democratic tendencies. Make that make sense. You even want to make your own people look bad. He's a Republican with Democratic tendencies. Come on now, make it make sense, man. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm just going to keep it 100 because this stuff is entertaining. This is better than I can even script it. Over the last four years, these two. Now, I'm going to say the last eight years because it started with Hillary. You know what I'm saying? So It really did. Everything is just all entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I want to know if he can walk with the sun. When he get ready. When he lose. I mean, when he eventually. Fuck it. I'm going to call it. When he win, he got to shake the former president's hand. Is he going to reach over and say, you're fired now or something? You know what I'm saying? Put that on ABC. What, what was the apprentice on? ABC no, or he ABC? Gonna, he going to shake the hand, reach over and be like, try harder. <laughs> so he gonna say, like, yo, why do you think Biden jumped out, dropped out the race though? That's an admission of guilt. Oh shit, I missed this nigga. Yeah, yo, let's, that's not an admission of guilt. That's not an admission of guilt. Yeah, I the dropped re- the race. The reason hey, man, why, man, the reason dropped why he the dropped out the race is because somebody got in his ear, dog. You're not gonna win. Let's just keep it honest. You're not gonna win. You're old as dog poop. You're too old. 
you go and see now. And he had a moment of lucidity to see that that's not the right word that I'm looking for. He had a moment lucidity. of cl- he had a moment of clarity to realize like this ain't gonna work. Um, hey, black chick, come take over. And at the end of the day, no. look, 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 I'm keep I'm keeping it thorough. How many people really going to vote for vote for a black woman? I know for a fact I'm not. Because especially how these women are nowadays, they get a little power and go batshit crazy. Nah, I'm straight. You get this brought the buttons to the bombs. Nah, I'm straight. Listen, first of all, I'm good. Two things. First Look, of all, let's, we need term limits and age limits for presidency. Because it is term I'm, limits and I'm age limits. Well, it's term limits. You got well, two terms. Me, well, look, uh, for a presidency, yes. I meant the term limits for, hey. like, Congress and the Senate. Because I'm sick of uh, seeing that turkey neck dude from the Republican Party that looked like, uh, uh, what, who the fuck he looked? He looked like Lurch or some shit. The, the I know you ain't talking about my man Mitch McConnell. I know yes, you ain't talking about brother Mitch. That turkey juggler motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, first of Leave all, my man he alone. got turkey neck, bro. He he, he probably used his to gobble gobble. Off his bone. Hey, I'm saying he used to probably <laughs> gobble gobble and doing his Monica Lewinsky impersonations. But hey, that's a whole other situation. That's gonna be another episode when I go real go when I finna go hard. You know what I'm saying? Especially about some of these backdoor bandits. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just sick of seeing all these. Like old ass people that don't represent me, they represent the last two, three decades, the, the last like forties and fifties of, of American. Hey man, that was around when the Wild West was still wild. And that's had, what I'm saying. They, they didn't have it's concrete. time to let it go. It's time to let it go. Hey, you know okay, what? The best way, all, um, uh, what's his name? The rich, the rich old investor guy, um. Warren Buffett? Yeah, Warren Buffett said, you want to solve the problem with America's power and um, with all these politicians and the American budget? If you don't get the budget right, your term is over. And I guarantee the budget will fix itself <laughs> if they sign that bill into law. Because the only thing they do... You get make two hundred thousand dollars a year. Your staffers start making a hundred, hundred and fifty, then it start going down from there. You don't need all these cabinet members to run your office. No, you do not. You know what I'm saying? That's just like that mayor in Chicago, out in Chicago area, Dalton, Illinois. Oh, oh that black chick. <laughs> nah, the black chick like... that they shitting in on bro. <laughs> hey, then, no, no, no. Nah, you want to make about... you want to make Kamala Harris president? Go for it, because he's talking about a uh, old girl that uh, Super Mayor <laughs> Tiffany. She was like Hinyard. a councilman. I think she was a councilman in. Uh, She's a city in, uh, supervisor in one city and the mayor in another city. She's doing both jobs at the same time. <laughs> and she said, "If I lose the election, from I was make I'm making a hundred and some thousand dollars a year. If I lose the election, the next person to come in and the mayor makes twenty three thousand dollars a year." But there was another one that was like using the uh, city funds to get her like hair done and shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the that Southland was, of that, Chicago. That's Come on, now. <laughs> that that's the like, one man. Was getting off brown. She's <laughs> like, yo, she showed up to the she showed up to the meeting dressed like him and said, "Bitch, better have my money." I'm like, wait, what? That shit She's was like, so uh, funny. I was, <laughs> I was like, what? Like Y'all are wild out here. <laughs> right, it's Chicago. I'm gonna tell you something. They talk about Flint's water. Um, that's Chicago's water because they share a lake with us. I guarantee you, they nah, got I'm more good, than Flint water. I don't trust like, anybody's that's... water except Michigan water because we got the best water in the land. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, but Preach. we share a lake with Chicago. I don't care shit if we shared. Pipes with Chicago. Lake Michigan <laughs> share Lake with Chicago. Nigga, you I suck. drink Detroit River water. <laughs> oh. So 
We ain't too far off. We just a well, couple look, hundred the, miles. The yes, a couple hundred <laughs> miles. We, look, look, let me tell you something. Detroit do some dumb shit too, right? We do. It's just we ain't got to the point as bad as theirs. Whatever's in whatever. We would whatever never get to put, that. Well, I, get, I know because they put all the Flint water in Chicago and tanked <clears> it up. That's why they shooting and killing each other like that. But we ain't too far off. We share a lake. We share, well, they share a lake with us. So what's ever in Chicago's pipe and in their water, well, they got a high concentration of whatever it is because that's why it's the Wild West. Is. That's why motherfuckers think they need no brown. I'm just saying. That's everybody's walk. I'm just saying. I treat Chicago yeah. water like Mexico's water. You don't drink the water. Unless it's got a worm in it. Drink everything else but the water. <laughs> How fucked up is that? that <laughs> your water is so bad that you have to drink something with a fucking worm in it. <laughs> I know a couple girls that like to drink stuff that got worm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I plead the fifth. I apologize. That was wrong of me no, not no, to say don't. it all the way. No, it was wrong of me not to say it all the way. So, hey, look, look here. Look here. Check this out. Check this out. No, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let the joke Is that go. how they sound when they do it? <laughs> <laughs> they got the <that> easy set. <laughs> sound like they need some WD-40 or some KY jelly. <laughs> they need... <laughs> hey, you know... Mm, I can't even say it right now. But you know what? Yeah, Yes, you can. I was going to say, it's, it's America. We can say what we want within reason. <laughs> no, nah, we can say what we want, period. I'm ready for the cancellations in the week, motherfucker. That, as you got to remember. I said within remember. reason because that freedom of speech is in the... It doesn't cover, like, if you go into a crowded crowd and say, fire, fire, and it causes a panic. You can't actually... In, in the state of Michigan... It's a law in the books where you can't swear in public. That's a goddamn lie. Because there was a guy on the lake that used to swear all the time. <laughs> it's, it's it's true. It's not enforced because it was when the state was really starting to get going. So it's not really enforced. But it is a law on the books where you can't cuss in public. But some of these bitches cuss I worse than know. men, though. So these kind of bitches. I know. You know what I'm saying? So, when I mean, our city was when our state was first founded, who was cussing so much where they were like, you know what? We got to make a law. You can't cuss in public. Because that motherfucker over there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you who it was. I... <laughs> I'm going to tell you who it was. It was motherfuckers Yosemite Sam. He was cussing like that. That's why they made that nigga into a cartoon. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I just man, wanna look, know special- I wanna go back in time and meet the guy that was cussing so much that they had to make a law. Cause you know they don't make laws until somebody did some shit. Hey, <laughs> you know what? I ain't going back that far just recording and sending it bring it back with you. So I watch it. <laughs> That's all. I ain't going back that far. Because me personally, um, I'm good without having whips on my backs. You know what I mean? Because uh, knowing me, they probably going to... But look, look, all look, all look, look. if you with me, it wouldn't be that way. They, they just think that you with me. True. Not all Aww. black people would... <laughs> <laughs> he ain't shit. Hey, he just ate shit. Hey, <laughs> son of a <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm just saying, they they won't say this nothing if you, if you walking with me. No, no, I ain't walking, no. You know what? Where the Trump shooter at? Where the Trump shooter at? He couldn't shoot me anyway. <laughs> he admits me where's his, where's his bro- <laughs> Where's his brother at? All I'm saying 
if we just all rolled up in a group and they were no, like, no, no, I ain't rolling up. I'd have been no, like, no. yeah, they with me. <laughs> no, no. Hey, it's like getting in the club and you got protection. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, look, let me use my privilege to help you help you. <laughs> it does Nah, there always be some bull. You always be on some bull. Nah, I'm just saying, bro. You know, you, hey, nah. we're just trying to make podcasts all, great again. That's all. Just trying to make a podcast you, great again. <laughs> just know, you always, just know. You always tell me, Scott. Let me get your. Let me use your privilege. And the one time where it would mean something, nah, you want nah, to back out and wanna, renege? Nah, fuck nah, you, bro. Fuck you. Nah. You hey, can't hey, even hey, make hey, renege. Hey, 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 why we all say renege? Hey, while we on the subject, let me use your credit for like two days. Let me use your credit. I got to get this call. <laughs> got to get my insurance right. You know what I mean? <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, who has, have you seen the movie Glory? You're going to get thrown in the pit with us. Keep playing. Hey, you seen 12 Years a Slave. At least when he got done picking no. his cotton in debt, in debt he, had to, he can go home. Everybody else had to keep working. I ain't gonna lie. Sending black people now back into the past, like, it'd be so wild because I really do think, well, depending on which group, if you send this weak, soft era back, yeah, they about to be slaves with their grandpappy, right? Hey, They're gonna you, father and mother themselves, honestly. Did, that's fucked but, up. That's nasty. That's disturbingly nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god did you see it's a movie where these two guys these two brothers had to get sent back in time and everything like that one ended up becoming a uh, a house nigga and the other one was in the field being a slave you know what I'm saying but in the in the present day the one that was a house nigga was, was in corporate America and everything like that yes boss yes boss yes boss and the other one he was just he was just young and thugging it so they sent them back in slavery times and whatnot so they can learn a lesson. Something about their grandma was teaching them some kind of mystical, magical, so, secret sauce shit or something. And I'm sitting nah, there like, I ain't need to know that one. You ain't send me back for that. <laughs> teach me now. Nah. Like, you got me. No, grandma hated them. I wish our grandma would send me back. I'm like, yo, you better hope I'd never get back up here. <laughs> I'm coming to you with a Grinch vengeance, Grandma. Hey, it is what it is. I'm just bro. saying. But no, seriously, it, 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 it'd be wild because, like, I would say all of us who was born between, I want to say, 70 and 90, between 70 and 90, yeah, we, we, we probably would really be on some Nat Turner type of shit because I ain't going to lie. That after that third whip hit, no, nah, give me that. <laughs> we can you say ain't hitting me no more. Hey, we can say that now. <laughs> we can say that now. Real talk, we can say that now. But after that third, after that second whip, that second whip <laughs> is fight or flight at that moment. That first initial I, one look, is like I can't believe this just happened. That second one. <laughs> We ain't even got to go to third. Either it's yes, boss, or I'm out. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Kill I'm not doing it. I'm the example. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Either I'm going to get you in your sleep, and they're going to get me later, or I'm gone. Harry, <laughs> let's go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm going to even hit you. I'm going to hit you with one better, uh, Mike. I, I'll be honest with you. I read the book of Frederick Douglass, and I'm be like Frederick Douglass, my nigga. I'm fighting with my master for two hours. You not beating me no more. That's the last time. My daddy don't even beat me. What makes you think you about to? Nah. Mm-mm. And that's when they gonna turn around and be like, what? And you're like, oh. <laughs> they gonna be up there. Have me that Lawrence. Nope. Have me that Lawrence real quick. This one need to learn something special. <laughs> Cover the whip with Loris. What a good. No, at that point, at that point, sir, I'm like, yo, see, we need to learn from the Romans, right? The Romans was, they still got our, but they was one of the most brutal eras in 
history because they just like to torture people. I tell you, you beat me, like you said, get them in their sleep, I'm going to make a whip. But when they made their whips back in the <laughs> Roman times, they they beat, they beat threaded it with razors and shit. I'm like, my turn, I'm whipping every, I'm whipping skin from back. All right? You will never beat me. All right, I'm giving all my fellow slaves a whip, and we about to go whip white folks. The ones that we cool with, that's cool with us, they can rock with us. The ones that's like, yo, put that down, boy. Shut up. You pick this cotton. My <laughs> cotton picking days are over. Just saying. We about to change the course of history. Nat Turner wouldn't have never lost. I'm be like, yo, they're going to snitch right there. Get that nigga. Be like, damn. History will write as Nat Turner and Thomas, his faithful right hand man, revolt worked and black folks was no longer slaves. <laughs> Crazy part is America wouldn't be what it is today without that. So that's the that's the crazy part. So, you know, so let's keep it real. We know Abraham Lincoln wasn't trying to free no slaves. That nigga was trying to get some PPP loans back in the day. All right. Mm. He knew what was going to happen. He knew that if they did not switch over to, uh, if they didn't switch over to mechanical power versus manpower, we was going to lose the race. Europe was already going through their industrial, they had just went through their industrial revolution. We was about to get fucked up. We couldn't have that, man. So you know what? We going to freeze the slaves. No, we just, we, with, with the truth is, we're not going to free those slaves. What we're going to do is just introduce these machines and let the machines and the slaves work side by side, you know. And we can pick even more cotton balls. And you ain't got to hurt no more balls. That's the thing. So I don't need your white privilege. Scott. Okay, remember that for the next time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ever hear you say, let me use your privilege, Scott. Because the one time we were going to go back in time and I'm going to me, you want you didn't want to have that privilege where it was like 100% going to work. <laughs> no, but here's an interesting question, Paula. If you could go back in time and change one event, what would it be? One event? One event. You can go back in time. You can go back in time period. You can go back in time or maybe you can go back in America's time, China's time, Roman's time, whatever. You can go back in time. If you can change one event. What would it be? So what? Uh, that we would have kept going in World War II and fought Russia instead of stopping. <laughs> So we was already over there, and the Cold War would have never happened. Oh, man. Scott, Scott, like, yo, we about to end all of it. Mike? Huh? Say what? What about you? What, man, I had to step off way for a sec. What did you say? I said, my question is, if you could go back in time, in any period, Mm -hmm. and change history, and change one event in human history, what would it be? If I can go back in time, at any time period, and change human history. Hmm. What would it be? Uh, You know what? I changed mine. I would go back and prevent the burning of the uh, Library of Alexandria. So I feel like we lost a bunch of knowledge that we could have used. I would protect the space. On the list. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, 
I don't think I would go back and change pretty much anything. Why? Because everything that didn't happen happened for a reason. So we were at this place where we at now. Let's just say uh, somebody could have saved Martin Luther King from being assassinated. Right? Mm -hmm. Then what? Would would JFK would have really pushed the issue about making equal rights for blacks or we would still be struggling? You know what I'm saying? What about Malcolm X? When he was assassinated by his own, would we really be questioning anything that that was saying said? No. So, to be honest about it, I really wouldn't change much of anything. <laughs> so, you saying you're okay with the world climate as it is? I'm not okay with it, but I believe in the butterfly effect. You change one thing, mm. a bunch of things you change worse could happen. Or better could happen. We don't know. It's a missing variable that we can't really give that an answer to. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. That's like, I don't know if you've seen the Butterfly Flag movie where the guy actually. Oh, went, I have. With uh, Ashton with Kutcher. Ashton Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher, yeah. He had to go back. The only way he was going to fix, fix what he did was to stay away from old girl. Actually, there's a darker, there's a darker ending to that. Where he killed himself in the, the way he, uh, yeah, I think that's what he did. He strangled himself, so he would never, um, he would never plague anybody's life. So, or he wouldn't plague her life. But you bring up a point. He was stupid. Why would I kill myself? Oh, girl, still gonna get molested, right? Because he's not Damn, around. You, you gonna kill the girl, man? Damn. Oh, she got some. I said, person. I just said him killing him. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> that clam was a snap. Tom was over there. <laughs> it was a snappy clam. Tom was over there like a uh, war machine when he's talking about strangling baby. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> baby Thano. <Yeah. laughs> And everybody looking, everybody looking at like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> he said, they looked at him weird because he said, he looked at him, <laughs> they looked at him, he said, yo, kill him in the womb, which is crazy because in DC's, in DC's uh, animation, that's what they did to Dark Side. They've turned uh, Flash into the Death Racer. Well, DC is gangster anyway. I, I'm sorry. D, do you, you hear about the new DC universe that's coming out? Uh-uh. In October, they got a new universe coming out for DC. Where it's a jumping on point where Batman is not rich. He's an average working guy that just goes out and fight crime. <laughs> okay. Stop. So, Let's stop. So it's a whole right new there. universe they're creating. But my whole deal is why are we still doing Batman shit? Why are we doing Batman Superman? We got thousands, they got hundreds of heroes. You mean to tell me after 40 years of movies starting from, no, even longer than that, maybe 70 starting when the first super, the one of the first Supermans who killed himself. You mean to tell me we still on Superman, Batman? Let me ask you this. Let me ask nah. you this. A- answer this one question for me. You being an African American man, I'm an African American man. If I look between the choices of Static Shock, Black Lightning, uh, Static Shock isn't really a DC character. DC adjacent. <laughs> He's rented. DC adjacent. He's rented. <laughs> okay, we got Black Lightning, and we have Batman. Which book you gonna grab first? <laughs> Personally, Black Lightning. Personally, yeah, Static Shock. I like Black Lightning because he was kind of an average guy. And, and he had his little superpowers. 
I'm but going to Batman. Batman. I'm going straight Batman. Like I'm Brooklyn. sorry. But my whole deal is I don't want to see broke Batman. That's like seeing broke James Bond. Nope. Nobody want to watch broke James Bond. They want to see all the gig- the gadgets and the the see, toys and see, stuff. See, it's, it's, it's really not about that. You know what it is about Batman that everybody loves and despise all at the same time? It's because it's prep time. <laughs> at the same time. The thing about <laughs> it is you could be him. You could. Out of, every, out of every character that's ever been created, you could be him. Because you could be Nigga, a billionaire. I, no. You could be a billionaire. You could train for your entire life and go out and fight crime. You could do that. But you can't come from another Nigga, I get You can't be an Amazonian woman that got magical powers. You you could may run fast like Hussein Bolt. These but you ain't breaking could. sound barriers. You could identify as an Amazon with magical powers. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, <at> a... <laughs> I'm identifying as a purple elephant. That's what I want to be known for now on. I'm a purple elephant. Hey, bro, you do you, you know? You want to be a purple I'm elephant? A, first, you be the best of all, purple elephant ever. On first my, of all, Every sir, application I put in is other purple elephants. <laughs> first of all... I just be the one above all. Like, why would I? I'm going to be anything. I'm going to identify as the one above all. I'm just saying. Why be a henchman when you can be a god? Just saying. That's too much responsibility. I got to make sure I eat. I I'm didn't not... say I was going to do my... I'm, not, I'm definitely going to say I'm not going to do my job. I never said I was going to do the job. I just want the powers. Yep, you this black. This want the power of grace. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Y'all thought I was. The, so, gentlemen, I told you all. And I'm going to say this on this podcast. The world better not ever go through no cosmic event to where we all wake up with powers. It'd be an eclipse like heroes. It'd be that big bang gas like static shock. Better not ever happen. Because the moment it happened and I wake up with powers. All y'all going to get a call. We're going to be on a conference call, and you all are going to be my new legion of doom. We are straight being pillars. I'm going to have Mm-mm. the same temperament as, uh, uh, what's my man's name from uh, the shadow guy from uh, uh, Naruto? Zetsu? I, I, huh? You talking about Zetsu? Black Zetsu? No. No, uh the shadow guy, the the Shikamaru? Yeah. I couldn't think of his name. I have no idea what y'all talking about. I'm I'm gonna have his type of personality. Like, I might save your ass, but I might also rob your ass. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say, get back to what Mike is saying. Here's the deal. Technically we could go to another world and be Superman. We technically could. Right? Yeah. But that's very possible. We got eight other planets around us. Right? So technically, we could do that. If we found a planet that powered us to the sun, the gravity was way lighter than what we're used to, then everybody else is weak there and we're strong. We technically could do that. My whole point is. You mean to tell me these are the only two heroes? If that's the case, sir, I could technically be Captain America. You don't see us dropping 15 Captain America movies. This is a frown on steroids, sir. I'm just saying. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Look, it is seven look. Captain America movies, though. I said 15, though. Well, well, we ain't. Captain America ain't that popular. No, it's just Marvel tells stories of other heroes. It's not about so much as popularity. Tell me when the okay, before the movie, okay. before the movie. Okay. How many of y'all? No, no, before the movie. Ask me this. Okay. Of y'all. Okay. When did when 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 was we rocking with the Guardians of the Galaxy before the movie? When was we rocking with the Inhumans before the movie? And the TV show. It was no. Be inhuman. honest. There was nobody no was really shows. rocking with the in. 
There was never a human. Yes, it was. No, it was not. Yes, it was. No, it was not. Yes. Mike, Mike, you're no, not going to. Mike, yes, it was. No, that's that Mandela yes, it effect. Was. You, know, you want that Mandela effect. That never happened. Yes, it did. It never just happened. Cause, just because you don't want to admit, just because you it don't want to admit to it, don't mean it ain't happened. It never happened. It happened. That's fake news. It I got did. small hands. No. Okay, well, that's uh, it's real news. That's fake news. You just got to learn how to accept it. No, that's, that's, that's just the left creating we stuff did. that's not real. Okay. <laughs> just because just cause you deny the truth don't mean it's not true. That's fake but, news. Um, you need to watch Fox News. They, Fox News said fair, it was never been a human when, movie. It, even no. when uh, the Inhumans were in the comics, not, nobody really paid attention to the Inhumans. It was a, it was a, knock-off, it was a knockoff version to the X Men. Didn't nobody give a flip about Black Bolt? <laughs> Didn't the only thing that was cool about Black Bolt was Medusa and her hair and the freaking dog. In that TV show, when they cut Medusa bald headed, <laughs> it was no purpose of her. There was no purpose. But that's my point. That's my point. You look at the heroes that Marvel actually used. If you actually look at the heroes Marvel used, gave us Thanos and the Infinity Gems. Technically, the only like a a flagship. We're talking flagship. So, like Spider Man was a flagship. If that's the case, um, Marvel ain't had no flagship until two thousand eight. Everything that Marvel ever produced did not make money. Okay, the first Captain America movie. No. The first Captain America no, movie that came out in the 70s, it did not make money. That second Captain America t- movie no. that came out, it was a TV movie. What I'm then saying. the Fantastic Four that came out, it never wanted to re-release it. That never was going to make any money. The, then, uh, hold but, on. But, what about but, when the Incredible Hulk was on TV? Okay, made a few dollars. Then when they put Thor in there, eh, it was kind of interesting. But it was never, it was no, never but, designed but to make saying, movie, make money. What? But, 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 but here's my deal. When they started making movies in the 2000s, when it started off, some would say with Blade or Spider-Man. You can go with either one. I'm going to say Blade started it all off. He's just not a part of the MCU. But my whole deal is Marvel took what they had and gave us a great story without their flag, without their major flagships. So technically, they gave us Hawkeye and Black Widow and... They really wasn't a part of the original Avengers, but they gave us an Avengers team, and it worked. That's my whole deal. Marvel looked at what they had and did it. And the only reason that happened with Marvel, because we all know that Marvel didn't have all its pieces because they had sold it off to quit from going bankrupt. Meanwhile, DC over here sitting on every character, never went through bankruptcy. Batman, Superman, Flash, Green Lantern, Wildcat. Teen Titans. They literally could have done all these movies. I would like no, to what see we, a Wildcat movie. First of all, we could have, it starts with leadership. We could have had... If you got weak leadership at the top, okay. guess what? Every piece, everything up under that leadership will crumble. That's why, That's the prime example. Why? We got um, um, Donner Superman that came out in the 70s. Then it came out with Superman 4. Mm, died. Superman's dead. Then we have waited to the 89 Batman to come out to almost 10 years after Superman for Batman to do his thing. Okay. Then when Don, Sh- um, what's my man name? The bat nipples came out. All right. Batman's done. Bat nipples. <laughs> only thing that gave DC, only thing that made DC still breathe. Let me be 100% honest. Batman and Superman. No, I'm going to be 100% honest about it. This gave life to <clears throat> nasty. This gave life to Batman. This gave life to DC Comics, no matter it, DC Studios as it's called now, and Marvel Cinematic Universe is Blade. The reason why? <clears throat> Who owns New Line Cinema? Warner Brothers Entertainment owns New Line Cinema. So Marvel characters was leased out to DC and DC made a movie with Wesley Snipes, which was Blade. Then in 2000, what, 1, 2002, when Spider-Man came along, no one respected it. No one respected the superhero genre after Bat Nipples. That's why. 
Then when Blade came out, it was gritty. It was grimy. It is what it is. That gave birth to the superhero movies. Then, okay, after that, oh, this is interesting. Then Spider-Man came out. Oh, that's interesting. Then Punisher came. Thomas Jane Punisher. Yeah. Yeah, no one talks about that Dolph Lundgren Punisher Punisher that came out because it sucked. It never even had a skull on the chest. We don't talk about it the same way we don't talk about the Dragon Ball Z movie. <laughs> or in the same way we don't talk about that first thing, the first Hulk movie. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk that or Ang Lee's Hulk? Which one? The one that was flipping through the like a comic Hulk. book? Yeah, the one where he fought the Absorbing Man. And the Absorbing Man was his father. His dad. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, Marvel mishandled, because then when you had a leader to come in, a la Kevin Feige, he had to steer the ship, because apparently y'all just a bunch of boats in the water not knowing what you're supposed to do. We all got a whole hand so we can make it through. But my whole deal is, though, Mike, still, my whole deal is this. You ain't lied about nothing, but I'm just saying, you have all your things. You guys should have been dropping this this new DC universe should have been dropping along the Avengers. All that all DC does is look at Marvel and be like, "Oh, so that's what y'all are doing? We gonna copy the work?" Like, dog. that's my whole point, though. It's oh, no, nah. it was no true leadership at DC. Trust and believe me. If I could have took DC, first things first. No, Batman's not being first. No, Superman's not being first. One Woman, no, not being first. We gonna start. From the basics. We gonna start with Hawkeye. Not Hawkeye, Jesus Christ. We gonna start with Green Arrow. Green Arrow? Yeah, we gonna start with Green Arrow. Even though technically Green Arrow is a cheap version, a cheap rip-off version of Batman anyway, which we all know. What else? We all know. We all know that... But... Yeah, you put the right pieces in order. Yeah, but- then you put you should have. They should have did a cyborg movie. I wouldn't have made it a full blown movie per se, but I would have gave you something. Cause cyborg is cool. I like cyborg, but I don't think it would have been a full blown successful movie. That's like they had Lobo with Michael Bay directing it. Eh, I don't see that working either. The in Black Adam? Because Marvel I, never... I, Black Adam? Marvel no, never... Bruh. That, you get no chance in hell the Black Adam have a solo movie without Captain Captain Marvel. No. No. Black Adam should have got a tease, which he did. He got teased in Shazam. He should have been featured in Shazam besides those three witches. Then you go <laughs> into a Shazam movie. No, I don't care how big Dwayne Johnson think his Johnson is. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter on what you think. You're an actor. You're not in charge. You don't get producer credits. Either you want to be a part of the program, you join the team and be a teammate, or you get replaced. No matter how much you want to be a part of something, you got to follow the pecking order. And no one at DC had a set of balls big enough to say, hey, no. But they trying to get The Rock over to play Apocalypse. I bet you Kevin Feige was like, no, we doing it my way. If you want to be a part of this and be successful, outside of the Fast and Furious franchise, then you need to follow my lead. <laughs> Let's be honest. How much really The Rock has really did that make him the man? Not much. That boat, that bo- jungle no, cruise we- sucked. Journey to the center of the earth no. sucked. You know what I'm saying? He dressed up as a fairy. Didn't um, Vin Diesel do that too? When he left the Triple X franchise for a while? And, um. I, I thought, what's his name? Did that too? I thought Batista did that shit too. Batista, but, he, he, but he never dressed up as a fairy. He was in the kids' movie, yes. But let's be honest oh. about it. Batista, Batista, he was honest. He's not there. He's a craftsman. The Rock just say, "I'm it's my name. That's on me." 
He did the Scorpion King, which, to be honest, the Scorpion King was a CGI mess. But at that time, it was love. So you can't, you know. It was decent. But when he when they show him as a CGI Scorpion, that was stupid. <laughs> now look back at it. Y'all better go remaster it. Then they put all them spin-off Scorpion King movies out. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, those were terrible. <laughs> then he did. Then, <laughs> I let's, saw like let's do the rundown. The third one. I let's, was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> let's do the he when he did the rundown. Then what? What about the rundown? Huh? What about that? I actually got the rundown. I did too. That's before we had a, my, my big ego moment. Yeah. Then let's. What, what about, about what, what about what about Doom? Don't forget the. Uh, oh, Doom was that. That was just a that was a bad video game movie. Hey, let, we we gonna talk about everything he did. Up, oh, but when he got in Fast and the Furious, boom. This is what my about, franchise. No, no, what about oh, fast? What about what about faster? You forgot Faster. Faster was a good movie. The one where he got out of prison and started killing everybody that set him and his brother up. I don't rem- I don't even remember that. What about yeah, Spy I- Hunter? He did a Spy Hunter movie? And a video game. Spy Hunter or Spy Kid? Spy Hunter. No, no. I know he didn't do I know- Spy Kid. I know what Spy Hunter is. That's the that was like the spy car game. I I, right. I know what that is. I yeah. didn't know he did a movie. I didn't know there was a movie of it. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. I, I thought mean, you were talking about Rampage. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, with the white he gorilla. Did the Rampage movie. The white gorilla gave him the Which finger. I, I, oh yeah! Wow, I was so excited <laughs> for that one. Yeah. So what have you? What really the Rock have done outside of uh, Fast and Furious that really will say, "Hey, that's good." Oh, besides uh, something he stole from Robin Williams, and he wasn't even a good main one that we loved to see in there. It was Kevin Hart and Jack Black. That was Jumanji. Oh, J- Jumanji! I was like, I was like, I had to think. I, I didn't care for the new Jumanji. They were that was are stupid. Right? But that's what I'm saying though. Then he did Red Notice with um, Ryan Reynolds. I did like CIA. That that was kind of funny. Because of Kevin Hart. Yeah. He had some funny parts in there, too. Funny parts, but he wasn't funny. Yeah, but... Yeah, I would see that, but that... Yeah, okay, fine. That's cool. That's just I, like... Yo, that's just that's like fine. John Zena, though. That's like John Zena. John Zena was in wrestling. He was a freaking robot. Huh? You mean John Cena? Yeah, that's what I said, John Cena. Oh, you said I thought you said John Zena. I'm like, what the fuck is John I, John I thought he said the same thing. I was... <laughs> no, John Zena. Yeah, John, John Zena. Zena. John Zena. John Zena. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's no, a better I, actor we, than The Rock. Just like... Let's be honest. Y'all, y'all, um, y'all got Amazon. Y'all seen Ricky Sinicki? No, I, yeah. I know what that is. That shit I, is I know what it is, but I haven't. Funny. Ricky Sinicki is fucking funny, and I don't even think I just looked at it on a whim. That shit was fucking funny. But still, my my whole deal is this though. I'm still gonna whatever you, you're right, but I'm still saying like, yo, DC decided to you know screw up, and yo, now it's kind of like, yeah, you guys should be able to do a A plus paper. You turned around and got John uh, James Gunn. You turned around and you done had think- twenty years to study the Avengers. Why would you should have a A. Don't praise nobody for cheating and, oh, I'm going to go second. Oh, man. Uh, I think. If they keep, the execs, out, if they keep movie, the execs out the kitchen, it could go. Because Justice League, Zack Snyder's version, was pretty freaking good. But they rushed yeah, it out, though. They rushed. They had a Superman, a Batman versus Superman. I think Wonder Woman popped in there. Justice League. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not how that goes. Ju- Batman need a movie. His own movie. A real Batman movie. Superman. He had his. He should have had his second you one by that You ain't talking about that Stomp the Yard Batman movie, are you? <laughs> what? No. 
No, nah, he, he, he talking about that one with uh, Twilight in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, all oh, he did God. was stomp. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh this said, guy. That, I ain't going to lie. That nigga, that nigga walking around with them golf boots, too. <laughs> too. <laughs> Dude, I like, saw the Batmobile for like three seconds, and the whole movie was him just stomping around. Hey, the best like, part about it is you're, you're not supposed to make noise. The best part about it is when he jumped out the <laughs> building and he tried to do that gliding suit and hit every last building on the way down. His whole face should have been broken, <laughs> for real. So you know what I mean? No, I'm talking about Batman in the hotel, Batman in the warehouse, Batman movie. He should. They should let Ben Affleck do his thing with Slade Wilson, and oh my goodness, that would have set some records because Zack Snyder directed the mess out of Batman. Even um, mach, mach, now I want to say Machete. Uh, dude, they did the Flash movie. The rest of the movie sucked, but the Batman part was good. Uh, I. I- be honest, I never even watched the Flash movie. Hey, after the first fifteen minutes, don't watch it. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That's the best part of the movie. First fifteen minutes, that's it. You talk about the one where Batman shows up and takes over the movie, and Supergirl is running around. Yeah, first fifteen minutes. Oh. The best part of the movie is Batman and Sasha. Sa- 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 Fucking Sasha Baron Cohen ass. She she flying around as Superman. I know that's not her name, but still. You know what I'm saying? That's the best part of the movie. The rest of it was like oh, I honestly I want to see uh, a uh like a plastic man or you know, some some of the other DC characters. I'm no like, let's, like, let's, Tom, let's. like Tom, like Tom, I'm sick of seeing the same Top He's sick of saying Batman. Whoa, Batman, Superman. Oh my God! How about this? Like, can we get how about the question? Can we get the question? <laughs> how about this? No, no. How about even one better? Right now, all of us on this phone will admit right now, DC's occult shit is on point. Constantly, oh, I, I would love to see their occult stuff. So, <laughs> so, so, can a brother get like? Well, even though it was Sony that did it. And we can get another one of him too, because Nicholas Cage just was us. We done seen Ghost Rider. Can we see Etrigan? I would like to see that. Yeah. Have y'all seen Doom Patrol? No, I saw like the first couple seasons, I believe. Doom Patrol was the shit. That shit was kind of funny. No, she was the shit. That's like, that, okay, that's, so she's like, talking about Doom Patrol. That's like watching the boys. That's the shit. Let's talk about what they did for Titan. Like that Batman part was the shit, though. Here's the deal. See, that's the problem. That's all you can say. With that Batman and the Superman part. First of all, I'm I'm, 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 look. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. I'm biased towards Batman. You know what? On my car, I got a Batman steering wheel. I got Batman seat covers. I got Batman valve stem covers on my car. Sorry to hear that. Don't be sorry. Because the Batmobile, I ride that mother lover every day. I'm with you. Out of the DC characters, I like Batman the most. No, bump that. I'm getting off that. Out of the DC (laughs) characters, I'm Team Green Lantern. Stop all that bullshit. Team Green Lantern. Look, look. All that foolishness. Hey, didn't he get his brain? All we got to do is wear the color yellow, and it negates his whole power face. So, no. Nah. You said what? All I got to wear is yellow, and he can't touch me. No, right. it's not just right. wearing yellow. Yes, it is. Yes it is. Fear. <laughs> yes, it is. It's just wearing no, it's yellow. Fear. No, no, no. no it's fear. Yes, it is. Yellow. It's yellow. Batman dressed it's up. Yellow. He covered. It's... He painted everything in the room yellow, and was drinking some lemonade. And Hal Jordan couldn't do nothing. And Batman whipped his tail. And Batman also took his ring off his finger while he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and Batman needs prep time to beat the fuck out of everybody. Fuck out of here. 
Look, look, okay. that man doesn't need prep time. He's already got it in his tool belt or in his cave somewhere. He got his shark yeah, see that, once again. Forget what you're talking about. Batman could prepare for everything. He got moon no, rocks. Well, Batman Batman's is like MacGyver of the Justice League. <laughs> Listen. Batman MacGyver of any, Batman. any comic book. <laughs> no, Batman. It's, well, yeah, nigga, if I did my homework too, I'd be able to pass every fucking test and not lose nobody either. Sure. I'm not taking away from him. But let's think about it. What do they always say about Batman? Batman can beat somebody with prep time. Nigga, I can beat somebody with prep time. The fuck? He just need 20 minutes. I didn't minutes. say he could. I, I'm saying Batman need 20 uh, minutes and that's it. If you give Batman 20 minutes, it's, it's over. It's a done deal. You, you, and on the, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, first, okay, I'm giving him 20 minutes with or without prep time. And he just need pre- 20 minutes of prep time. No, fuck that. That's, that's easy. That's the case. Give Iron Man and Captain America 20 minutes of prep time. They're like, going to be arguing. Let's, let's They're going to be arguing with themselves and still couldn't come up with a good plan to make it work. Look, every time you put them together, it's no. like vinegar and water. It ain't going to work. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, no, yes, no, I'm talking about if you if you give Iron Man 20 minutes prep time against Batman and you give uh, 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 Rogers 20 minutes prep time against Batman... They gonna beat Batman. You, you everybody saying Batman with prep time. That's like that's like saying, "Ooh, I passed this test. I could pass every test. I just need to study the night before." No, I want to see you on a pop quiz. I want to see you encounter somebody with no prep time and let you go at it and see who wins. They just did that with this new comic book where Batman and Joker had to team up because both of them was infected with a virus and they had to work together to figure it out. And when Bang showed up, that the one that actually created the virus, he said y'all needed each other to solve the problem anyway. And guess what? Batman blood scared Joker. Joker's blood cured Batman. So that was a pop quiz. Ooh, one pop quiz. And that's Bang. Like, how many times has he fought Bang? He done fought Bang plenty of times. Bang got one good one over him when he broke his back. But guess what? He broke his back. He came back and became the dark, the darkest of dark nights. So, (laughs) it is what it is. I don't prescribe to the prep time thing because Batman's been uh, in situations where he didn't have prep time and fucked up people. For instance, when... Uh, what was it? DC War, where they went to Apocalypse, and he uh armed all their Very I don't nice. know for lack of a better term their nuclear bombs. Yeah, their 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 death heads. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. And he was he threatened to blow up the planet. He, he, he didn't just that guy. <laughs> Yeah, okay, no yeah, that's not... gonna, gonna do that. Yeah, but too. I'm talking about, but I'm talking, yeah, yeah, he was, okay, so he blackmailed the nigga to, to give it up. Okay, cool. So he's a good blackmailer. All right. I'm talking hand to hand, throw hands, no blackmail, face to face, first time encounter. What's up? He need five I'm, minutes. You, I'm Batman, still going with look, Batman. Batman need five minutes of fighting and he'll figure you out. Cause, so that means I just got to kill you. I just got to kill Batman for four or five minutes. Okay, cool. Do your best. Oh, it's a lot of dudes that can do their best to kill Batman. Let's keep it real. Who? Let's keep it real. Who? Are you serious? Yeah, who? Who? Thor is killing Batman. Spider-Man is killing Batman. Uh... Everybody who hold up the human potentially human torch could definitely kill kill Batman. If we gonna go, if we go into Batman the Batman have room, like a mini fire extinguisher. To Batman just got to look at killing. Oh. Batman just got to look at this human Storm torch, killing. and he already know fire. Okay, let me put this fire out. Take away all the oxygen. Take out the oxygen in the room. Put some water on it. He's going out. He's night night. You he ain't fucking over ice, man. Have fun with that. Because if you know how his car will work, he pulls the air out of the room. So what, he going to pull the air out of the room, including himself? 
No, fuck out of here. Batman would take it to the extreme. He'd do it just to make, just to win. <laughs> I don't know. It's Wolverine. The fuck? How to take out Wolverine? You do what uh, Magneto did. Rip the adamantium out of his body. Yeah, yeah, but he ain't got all that shit. So like, he ain't. He ain't. This is a first encounter. He don't have all that bullshit. He'll figure out I his think fighting be style. An interesting fight since since uh, Batman's uh, expert close combat right. person. Right. As soon as you see him popping claws, he is, he he know how to destroy the ground up under you, just like he did. Raz Al Ghul make the ground fall. Then up, oh, you in the ground. I'll be back. I got you. I didn't figure you out. No, see that's the deal. We talk about first encounters that Batman won't walk away from. I don't think he's walking away from. Uh, he ain't walking away from Wolverine. I don't think he's walking away from Sabretooth. Shit, Sabretooth is straight psychotic. And I kind of hate that the way they play Sabretooth in the X Men movie. At least the first one, because Lee Schreiber actually did a good job when he did it in X Men Origins. Hey, we don't worry. Sabretooth, he's gonna get his head cut off. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. Y'all anxious to see that bullshit? I'm not. I am. I'm going to see it next Sunday. First thing in the morning, I'm going up there what? Sunday. And like I said. What you got against Deadpool movie? I've never really been a fan. It looks like it's going to be a good movie. I've never been a fan of Deadpool. I don't know which Logan they're grabbing because Logan technically is dead. It's not a Logan. And I talk. It's not a Logan. What you say? It's not. They got. I know, but that's a. But okay, but yet. And like I said, I don't know. No, I don't know which universe he's going to get Wolverine from. But That's why you got to watch it and find out. Mike. No, <laughs> Mike, I talked to you about this yesterday, right? right? So, Scott, one of my biggest gripes is this. X-23 is Wolverine's clone, correct? Correct. Now, in the Logan movie. She got bone claws. No, she had metal claws. She didn't have bone claws. She had metal. All right? She has his adamantium. And I'm going to go back and watch Logan, but she has his adamantium claw. So my biggest gripe is this. First of all, X-23 should have already been the age she is, that she is now in the, uh, in the movie she's going to be. She should have already been that age. But my deal is this. Adamantium doesn't break and it doesn't bend. How the fuck is you growing? You got the claws when you were 11, 12. Now you're like, I don't know how old you, let's say between 21 and 28. You done gotten taller. How? How? Adamantium don't bend and break. That shit don't move. But she can grow. And I've never been a fan of Deadpool because I'm not a fan of all. Oh, my dick's too big for my little hand. I'm tired of that bullshit. I'm, I'm not. I'm not with all that. That's just me, because that's all that's kind of. I mean, it's gonna have some shit, but he, it's, it's just gonna be him being vulgar, running around. And let's keep it real. Y'all like this version of Deadpool. I want to see the Deadpool that was first introduced. The one that didn't talk like that. The one that wasn't breaking the fourth wall. That's the Deadpool I actually kind of want to see. That's the one that I think... That's the one I know y'all wouldn't like, but actually had a better story. He, He wasn't relying on all the dick, sex, bullshit jokes. Like, what? You know, that what we doing? You know, so no, not I'm not rushing to go see Deadpool and Wolverine. You know. Okay, I looked it up. I looked it up, and it's quoted. 
She does not have antimantium skeleton, just antimantium coated claws. So now we got so we got this knockoff X twenty three because the original X twenty three was his clone. So they did to her what they did to him. That's what made X twenty three so dope. No, that's what it is. But they gave us so I guess in the movie he they just coated her claws and shit. Um, but once again, so her claws. So she'd have had them. Her claws should be. Mm, they should still be kind of big. Even well, for her, they should be kind of big. But so you mean to tell me she gonna have them twelve year old little baby claws on this adult woman? Okay, <laughs> okay, that's that. That sounds all good. Okay. All right, gentlemen, we coming up hey, on a. Hour. Just... We coming up on an hour and a half. We need to wrap this show on up. Any shots out now? Nah. Shout out to, you know, my fiance soon to be. Shout out to all the best men in my wedding. <laughs> Shout out to the bridesmaid and all the people that's going to be there. I love y'all. Can't wait till October. Scott, it's on you. Any shots out? Not necessarily, uh, just everybody. Uh, keep doing y'all. Keep being uh upstanding people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh take what you heard here to to uh what's the word I'm looking for. The heart? Eh, I don't want to say heart, but don't get, like, upset that somebody got offended or, you know. Don't take that shit to heart. Tell them to grow a pair. Put on a <laughs> big boy pants. <laughs> <laughs> big boy pants. That's not. All right, I guess it's my turn now. Look, check this out. If the house is rocking, you know your mama getting the guts knocked in. I'm only here to give out eargasms. So, it's been a minute, but I'm back. You know what I'm saying? That's like me getting hard for the second nut. You know what I'm saying? It's been your boy, Belly D. Williams, up in the building. And that being said, it's over. It's done. I'm out. Peace, bitches. Peace. The deuces.